Hey beautiful people, this is your boy Kaxo M and today I want to talk about this powerhouse, powerhouse, this power brick and this is the newel V-Man battery VLB290W or 290W Tesla. I'm not sure what the Tesla is for. Anyway, um, I've done a test on this power brick and it's actually quite impressive. Um, I'll tell you the spec about it and the test that I've ran on this and what actually impressed me and maybe something that I dislike about this battery I will also put it right at the end. So if you look at our battery we do get few parts on this. Um, the first one is your D-tap. So your D-port D-tap is in fact in and out that means you can actually charge uh, your battery from the D-tap or you can use it to actually power your equipment and the DTAP if we look on the specification the input is 16.8 volt 7 amp max so that means you can charge this at 7 amp maximum I'm going to come back a little bit on this because I've also done some uh, test uh, some charging tests um, the other thing on the DTAP output your DTAP output is 10 volt to about 16.8 volts and this is 240 watts maximum next to it you do get a usb uh, which is your normal usb a and this is 5 volt at 2.4 uh, amps so this is a fast charger i wish it was a usb um, but this is a welcome port so if we turn around on this side there is a button here when i press it uh, there is four LEDs there and those shows you your charge status or it shows the power that you still have on the battery next to it you get your in and out which is a DC port and your DC port is also an in and out it's in fact engraved in and out so that should actually mean that you can charge on this and if we look on the specification um, the DC input is 16.8 volt 3 amp maximum that is the input and if we look on the output this is 10 volt to about 16.8 volt 3 amp maximum so right from getting this from the shop you can actually without even having a v mount um, plate you can actually plug directly your equipment here and they should work so if you don't really need a v mount plate which is important to have you can actually just get a v, a v mount um, there is sort of a clamp v mount clamp so it's a clamp that you'll put onto your stand and it will be able to hold on the uh, v mount here and then you can plug directly your equipment on this so i talked about oh there is one other part that i actually forgot which is very important so you can actually plug this onto your lights i've done a test with a, a godox vl150 and what is surprising was that newell says this is a 296 watt hour and my light was 150 watts i've put it to 100 percent which should draw about 150 watts in theory and I was able to run this for two hours and after two hours the battery was depleted it didn't switch off but I had to switch it off myself and that is actually impressive which should show that the capacity they have put here is actually correct um, another thing was that on your VL um, on, on, on the Godox uh, VL light you do get it does show battery status and as this light goes off in fact even on the light itself they were also going off one by one you get four bars that is on the light and four leds that is here and they were sort of in sync as they um as they get depleted so i was very impressed about the power that i got here and that i can actually run my light at 100 percent for two hours and i don't really run that light um, at that power except on few occasions where i really have to so another thing that impressed me on this um you can buy those expensive nice chargers that you actually even 
uh, that has an handle um, but I didn't have the budget to buy that and I bought this very cheap um, they normally call it a travel charger uh, because maybe because it's small not that small but you can just put it in you can put it anywhere in your uh, bag it's smaller than the normal those nice I'm not sure what they are called and this doesn't have 7 amps um, the spec says you can charge this at 7 amp maximum and that means you'll be charging it as fast as it was designed for and this maximum is 4 amp so this charger comes with two D tabs and they are also 4 amp maximum that means 2 2 or if you're using one you get maximum 4 hours and I was impressed to be able to charge this guy from totally depleted to fully charged in six and a half hours so that means if i had a seven hour i should be able to charge this at almost half um the, the time or probably maybe four hours or so one day when i have um some money left somewhere i'll be able to test how long it will take with a seven amp um, charger so guys this is your battery in fact before i forget let me i said i'm going to talk about few things that i don't like they not that much the first thing is physically if you look at this thing it's actually quite big and it is not just big it is also heavy um i tried to look for the spec on the website from newell and i couldn't get um the spec for the weight of this and on one of the website on amazon um i think it was amazon.in um they gave something like 740 grams um it could be correct even though i feel that this is a little bit heavier but it could be correct so since well i couldn't measure this myself i will take 740 as a gram as the weight of this until such time that i'm able to uh, measure this so the other thing that i wished was that this usb was a usb c um but i don't think these few things they actually outweigh um the pros i mean the pros are quite big and one of them is that this battery is actually one of the cheaper battery if you are actually going to look for this power on the battery i have for now I think this is the cheapest battery um, and it packs quite a lot and I have tested like I said and I was very impressed. This is your boy Kakiso M I M out of here.